They will know the extent of damage and what to do. What am I confused? What am I going to do? Um, we keep him here for some days so that we can contain and reduce the inflammation. After that, I advise you move him to the teaching hospital if you want him to stay alive. Doctor, please help me. I know all these things will cost money, but I don't have any. That boy is the only one we have. I should let that happen to him. I don't know what we're going to do. Yes. You see, we will do the best we can. But to treat him effectively, you will need something in the region of 30,000. 30,000? I don't know, however, how much the teaching hospital will ask for. That's their own business. Okay? Um, 
Yes. I have seen the land. Yes. It is a good piece of land. Yes. But as much as I want to help you because of your son's situation, I cannot lease the land that is of no strategic importance to me in the village. If it had been in the town, well, we will be talking. Are you saying there is nothing you can do? Don't misunderstand me. I have not said that. All I said is that I cannot lease the land. If you want me to buy it, I will do that. This is the only piece of land I have left. If I sell it to you, what do I leave for my son? Eh? Holy sir, be wise. If you don't sell this land, you won't even have a son to leave anything for. Hey, God forbid. <sighs> Alright, alright. How much are you prepared to pay for it? 30,000 Naira, that's what you said. 30,000 Naira? Yes. Just for leasing, not outright purchase. Well, that is what I can offer you. Um, but if you don't want to take it, you can look for someone else to buy the land. I told you the land is of no strategic importance to me in the village. Chief, have a heart. Biko, that piece of land is the only one we feed from. If I sell that land to you at the very amount being demanded by the hospital, how do I take care of this boy when he's eventually discharged? Uh, let's not drag this too far. I will add another 10,000 Naira. Hmm? You know how difficult it is for money to come by these days. Ulisse, if you agree with me, come to my house this evening and collect the money. I will ask my lawyer to draw up the papers for you to sign later on. Bye. Yeah, it's coming. Morning, doctor. Ah. You're welcome. How are you this morning? I'm fine. Please have a seat. Okay. Um, doctor, I brought the money. Ah. We are not supposed to pay the money to me. What I did was to give an estimate of what it would cost to treat you soon. After the treatment, a pill will be issued to you, which will be settled. Okay. But since we have started the treatment, what you will do is to go to the cashier's office along the corridor and pay her a deposit of 15,000 naira. 15,000 naira? Yes. Thank you, doctor. You don't thank me. It's God who prayed to me. He's the one who heals all the sickness and diseases. He will heal your son. Don't worry. Sunday. What is that you're holding? Shovel. What for? They are building a new house. The Ubaja's house. So I want to go and join them and see if I can make some money. Sunday, you. Oh, Lisa. Oh, Lisa, come and see your son. He wants to kill himself. Mama, uh, Mama why Sunday. are you... What's that now? Why are you shouting? Sunday, you. Okay. What is it? Come and ask your son. Ask him. Sunday. What is the matter? I don't know. I just told my mother I wanted to go and join the others where they are working in uh, Deo Baja's house. And she started shouting. No, Sunday. You're not strong enough yet. Eh? But well, we can't continue saying this now. I, I, I know my body. I feel well enough. I want to, I want to go and walk. 
Oh, but for goodness sake, there's no money in this house. And soon I'll be going in for a major operation. Where will I get all the money from? But oh, please, let me walk. My son, no. We use wisdom in everything that we do. You are sick. You are not well. And if we allow you to go and walk in your present state of health, and something goes wrong, we will not just be talking about hunger alone. Oh. Yeah? Go and keep the shovel. Go and keep the shovel. God will see us through. Uh, I heard that you were ill. Yes, sir. How are you now? I'm okay now. Sir. What about your father? He's inside the house. Okay, okay let me see. Okay. Papa? I had said that when the time was right, I would come and take Sunday to stay with me. What do you say? I can never, ever forget what you did for me during the war. Uh, let me at least show some appreciation by taking Sunday to stay with me. He'll be with me for five years, at the end of which I will settle him with a substantial sum of money so he can start his own business. Hmm, my brother, I thank you. He's spoken well. All I can say is, may God bless you. May he reward you for your kindness and for remembering us in this hour of our need. But um, there is something I would like to say. What is it? You know somebody has been sick. And the doctor said... Ah, Papa, Papa. The doctor did not say anything. Uncle, I'm all right. <laughs> the young man is itching to go. <laughs> um, well, whatever the doctor may have said, mm, the important thing is that uh, he's out of the hospital and from all indications, he mm, appears strong enough. Very well. Sunday, if you feel you are strong enough to go, it's up to you. I'm strong enough. Mm. Yeah. Sunday, I'll give you one week to prepare. Hmm? I'll come on Saturday and I'll take you. Hmm? Okay. Uh, what do you say? I was not prepared before I came out, so. Please, please manage this 5,000. Thank you. Thank you very much. Sonda, won't you say thank you to your uncle? Uncle, thanks, sir. I
not the kind of fire you put up by blowing. Mm -mm. Hey, this is gas cooker. Mm? Now see. This is how you put it off. You see it. Okay. <laughs> Anything you don't understand. Ask Adana or Equitos. They will tell you what to do. Okay? Yes. Now get ready and go to the store. Your guy is not supposed to get there before you. Go, go, go. Go. Thank you. Cement. Okay, so you have come to the best place. This is where you get the best cement in this whole market. That is what people always say. Ah, uh, no, sir. The others may say so, but we'll tell the truth here. Okay, how much is your cement? It's 900. It is too much now. 800. Why not 800? Yes, uh, we sell 900 because we deliver it to where you need it. So you don't have to bother about uh, transport. You mean you are serious? Uh, that is why we are different. And that is why you have to pay more because good thing costs money. Okay, okay, okay. okay. You have convinced me. Uh, I like your yarn. Prepare for invoice for 20 bags. 20 bags? Yes, quickly, quickly. Okay. Uh, sorry, I thought I heard you tell that customer to deliver the That is not how we do it here. We allow the customer to make the arrangement himself. Sir, I know. But we have to start. If we sell 900 naira, then that means we can sell, we can give a 50 naira to the truck pusher to take it to that place. Then we can keep 50 naira. That means we would have sold a bag for 850. Hmm. Good thinking. Yes, you know something, Tony? Eh? Mm -hmm. That boy, Sunday. A very brilliant boy. Amazing. Mm -hmm. You know, he sold more cement today than I have done in the whole week. And can you believe it? He now has a standing delivery team taking the cement to the homes of the customers. That boy is brilliant. Hmm. Fantastic. <laughs> Wonderful boy. <laughs> Home delivery of cement? Yes! Isn't that going to cost you more? Too roughly it does. But you see, the customers enjoy paying more. And what is more, we now make additional profit on each bag of cement we sell. Mm. That young man is intelligent. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder what I would have been without that boy. I can see you are taking to that boy. 
disrespect? If he is that intelligent, why hasn't he been able to make his own parents? Ah, uh, don't be unfair. It's a question of opportunity. He hasn't had the opportunity, but I believe that this is his time. Mm. Mm. I don't know. Mm, I Good, evening. Good evening, my baby. Won't you eat your food? Mm. No, I'm hungry. I'll eat later. <laughs> Run now. Yes. Come. Yes, Daddy. Call me Sunday. Yeah. What is that? I'm giving money to buy some new clothes. I can't be wearing the same thing all the time. Besides, sir, that boy has been doing very, very well. He deserves a change of clothes. Good boy. <laughs> now so that something can be done. Uh, I'm okay. Uh. What is it? It's coming. Daddy, something is wrong with his stomach. Why wouldn't say? What is it? I don't know. Alright, let him go. Enjoy locking yourself up in the room all day. What's the matter with you? I think it's something I eat at the shop. But I'm okay now. You better watch what you eat. Huh? Yes, sir. Here, take this. Tomorrow when you get to the market, buy yourself some new sets of clothes. Hmm? And uh, discard those ones you came from the village with. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dad. Sunday. Ma. I have not served my food for you to waste. Go to that kitchen. Pick up your food. It's either you eat it, or you tell me you no longer want to eat my food in this house again. I'm sorry, Ma. I didn't know that you had served it. How would you know? When all you do is lock yourself up in that room anytime you come back from the store. How would you know? I'm sorry, Ma. I'm sorry, Ma. Turn your ears off on that board. Have you heard me? I said ease off on that boy. Hey. My friend, what is really wrong with you? I mean, what, what, what's the matter with you? Can you stand upright? You're forever doubling up. What is really wrong with you? I'm okay, sir. I sincerely hope you are. I really hope you are. Sorry, your head. 
Bushman. That boy is moving to the boys' quarters right away. Mm, why? I caught him peeping at Adama through the bathroom keyhole. The way he's going, he will either rape Adana or he put us in one of these days. Mm, are you sure of what you're saying? Hi. The problem with you is that when somebody tells you something, you will start doubting him. I am telling you what I saw. Okay. If he was not peeping, what was he doing at the bathroom door? Why did Adana have to go and take a bath downstairs? Hmm? It did not occur to you that he would have been waiting for her to finish so he can go in and take his bath. And people went to take their bath by bending over and peering at others through the bathroom keyhole. Eh? Tonya, what is the problem you have with that boy? I'm asking you. Why do you hate this boy so much? Since he came into this, I should have been so hard on him. Why? This is Chief Maxwell's house. Hey, come in. Uh, what do you want? Uh, I want to see him. I have a message for him. Okay. Uh, who will I tell him that he's looking for him? Just tell him Sunday. Mm -hmm. The boy from the cement shop where he bought cement. Okay, wait. That's exactly what I'm saying. I don't understand. Look, I will call you back later. Bye bye. Good day, Chief. Young man, didn't I pay for the exact number of cement I bought? What else do you need? Uh, I saw this in the shop. You must have forgotten it, so I decided to bring it back. Have you opened it? I'm sorry, sir. I had to open it to find out whose own it was. Are you sure what was inside? Yes, sir. Your checkbook and other things. I thought it would be important to you. That was why I brought it back. Please come. Sit down. Angela! Sit down, sit down, young man. Sit down. Angela! Look, do you know I have looked for the nooks and corners of this town searching for this bag? I was almost going mental. You told me that. Yes. That's my daughter, Angela. And this is Mr. Sunday. Sunday. Angela, this is the most honest thing I've ever met in my life. Can you believe that he found my bag containing my checklist and returned it to me? Eh? Thank you, Sunday. Eh? Thank you. Um, get us something to eat and drink. Please. Ah, no, sir. I have to go. No, 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 no. You must eat something. I have to go now. You must eat something. Look, do you know today I made a check of, open check of 500,000? You might just as well fill in your name and cast it. Ah, uh, no sir, I couldn't have done that. No, no. No. Hi. God. Sit down. Mr. Sunday, whenever you need anything, don't hesitate to call me. Okay? Don't hesitate. Thank you, sir. Hey, so there are still honest men in this country.
<laughs> this boy is marvelous. 2,000 bags in one day. Hey! Sunday, this boy is incredible. This is simply unbelievable. Some people have talent. Sunday, Ulisse, my boy. That's my boy. <laughs> what is this? The golden boy you have been praising has been stealing your blood. Here, I found this under his bed. You searched his room. His room is part of my house, or is it not? Well, I was cleaning out my house and I found this. What baffles me is how a boy who does not earn a salary can have this kind of money if he has not been stealing it. How? Look at this. Adana. Yes, yes, Daddy. Come. Call me Sunday. Done because daddy said you should report to the living room immediately. What's the problem? I don't know, but daddy is not sounding nice at all. <laughs> Me, I've not done anything wrong. Go. I've not done anything wrong. Hey, if you've not done anything, come and answer him. Please, let's go. Sunday. Sir. Uh, what is all this and where did it come from? I don't know. You see that? You see that he is not only a thief, but also a liar. Two evils in one man. Tunia, keep quiet. <coughs> keep quiet. Sunday. Sir. This money was found under your bed. I want some explanation. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I should have told you. I've been saving from the money you've been giving me to buy things. That bonus was given to me by Chief Maxwell. After I returned the bag, he forgot in our shop. Uh, why didn't you tell me all this before now? I'm sorry, sir. So right. Take that girl. So, you believe that job? You believe in that? That's not talking to you! Shut up. I said shut up. What do you want me to do? You want me to accuse me of stealing my money when there is no evidence that they are stolen from me? My account books are balanced. So what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? For God's sake! That boy has pulled wool over your eyes. He has, and I know it. He has. Hey. All oh. right. Let's assume he's been stealing from me. That boy has brought in more money into this house than he could have stolen from me. One more thing. For as long as he keeps shielding results, I am perfectly willing to look the other way. Now shut up and give me some peace. Oh. 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 Sorry. Mommy said you should help her wash this place. Don't 
sorry. It's like mommy doesn't really like you. It may be. Why? I mean, what did you do to her? Ada, you don't have to do anything to somebody for the person not to like you. Just being yourself is enough. And doesn't that bother you? I mean, doesn't it make you feel uncomfortable? Look, Ada, I don't bother myself thinking about such things. I've come here to do a job, and if I do well, the father will say to me, well, and I'll be a man of my own tomorrow. So if I allow Auntie to distract me, I'll only be a fool now. And you don't hate her for it? Why would I? Ah, Sonny, ah. what's the problem? Oh. What's the matter now? It's my stomach. Sonny, mm. this is the third time I'm seeing you like this. Are you sure you should not go to the hospital and see a doctor? Mm. I'll be okay. Please, just help me here. Eh? If you get to my room, mm -hmm. there are some drugs on the table. Just get them for me here. Eh? I'll get a glass of water for me too. Uh. Please. Oh. What exactly is the problem? See, from the scan and the test, the young man has stomach ulcer and a slight kidney infection. What? Ulcer? Yes, ulcer. And we need to do a surgery quickly. Uh, for how long could he have had it? You see, ulcers are strange things. You can never tell with them. But if we do something fast, Maybe we can still save his life. About how much will the operation cost? Let's see. At least 200,000 naira. 200,000? Naira, Alright, it is not a decision I can take on my own. I have to go to the village and consult his parents. Um, I'll certainly get back to you. Sichi, whatever it is, please do it fast. But meanwhile, we do whatever we can to ease his pain. I know he must have been in pain for a long time and has been suppressing it. Uh, doctor, please do your best for him. I'll appreciate it. He's a very good boy. Also? Yes. David, this boy is wicked though. Where did he get that kind of disease from? Where do people get ulcer from? It is not infectious. By the way, the doctor says the initial surgery will cost 200,000 naira. What? to pay that kind of money. You? Whatever happens, I'll go to the village and inform his parents. And do what after that? Pay the bills? Tonya, that young man's life is in danger, you know. So what? <laughs> Look, David, if you were not my husband, I would have said something is wrong with you. How can somebody in his right senses 
spend such an amount of money on somebody who is not his son or his relation? A mere servant. Oh God. Look, if you ask me, I will say you should simply carry that boy back to his parents before he dies in your hand. Though. Nobody will die in my hands. I brought that boy from the village. And it is my responsibility to take care of him and I will. And let this family suffer. Hey! Okay. If that's what you want, go ahead and do it. Go right ahead! Huh! Just go ahead! After the tests, the doctor said he has a stomach ulcer and the slight kidney infection and this will call for surgery. He said the operation would require something in the neighborhood of 200,000 Naira. And right now I don't have that kind of money. That was why I decided to come and see you so we can put our heads together and see what we can do. Hmm. If we say we did not know about this problem, we will be telling you lies. It was for this reason that he was sent to the hospital just before you came to take him away. We wanted to tell you about it, but he insisted that we should not because he wanted to go out and make money to help the family. Oh, I don't know. You should have told me. You should have told me. Chief, please. Sunday is the only one we have. If he dies, who else will we turn to? Who will take care of us in our old age? Please. Help us. Please. You even said he's a good boy. Please help us. Be good. It's all right. Stand up. Sit down. Chief, God will reward you. Be good. All that boy wanted to do was to go out, make money and become somebody in life. And then help the family. Be good. I must be going. Lagos is far away and um, I want to see the doctor. He says it will take three weeks to prepare him for the surgery. I'll keep you informed. May God bless you. Save John. food for in a food flask. Oh, daddy said I should take some food to Sunday in the hospital. Nobody will give my food to that imbecile. Instead, I will give it to the dogs. I can't be spending so much money on his hospital bill and expect to feed him at the same time. He has been stealing money. So let him feed himself with the money he has stolen. Mommy! Don't worry me! Stupid girl! Tony, I'm back. Yeah. I didn't hear you calling. Welcome. How was your day? Fine. <sighs> hmm. No. Well, as I done, I let her take this briefcase upstairs. Hmm. Does anybody see that one in the house anymore? 
Écoute aussi. Écoute aussi. You want me to tell me that your guy is back? Welcome, sir. Uh -huh. uh, take this briefcase upstairs. Wait. Where's Adana? She went to see Sammy in the hospital, sir. Who sent her? Eh? Who sent her? David, you see what I'm saying? You see it? Your daughter now dances round a mess about. How? Who knows what they've been doing together? What is wrong with going to see that boy in the hospital? By the way, since we're admitted, have you ever gone to see him? Why should I go and see him? Am I the one that put the sickness inside him? Take the bag upstairs. Yes, sir. You can stay and listen to us. If you would want to know, the surgery has been fixed for Saturday. I dropped to the hospital on my way to the shop. The doctor told me it's been fixed for Saturday. Did you hear what I said? What do you want me to answer you? What do you want me to say? Is it not your money at all? You can go ahead and throw it away. After all, it's your money. You said. Um, I hope he'll be all right. It will be. We are happy that we detected the ulcer in time, and I'm pretty sure that your pressure must be a success. Thank you, Doctor. Please do your best for him. You're most welcome, Chief. I should give to Bernard Sunday now. Stupid bastard! I said you should dish out food for him, and it is my plate I'm going to use in dishing it out. Is there no plastic plate in this house? I'm sorry, ma. Oh, I have suddenly started a, a sharing plates with dogs in this house. No. Eh? Oh, 
Come here. What is wrong with you? Why are you crying? My dad slapped me. What have slapped you? Yes. Why? And she slapped you. Yes, sir. Are you sure that's why she slapped you? Are you sure that's why she slapped you? Sunday. Sunday, are you mad? Do you want to kill yourself? Eh? Is there no other person left to sweep this place? What are you doing with that? Who asked you to sweep this place? Auntie said I should sweep the house. What? Tony, I asked you to leave your sick bed and sweep this house. Drop that broom, you go back to your sick bed. This is getting out of the house. <laughs> Asked a sick boy to pick up a broom and sweep the compound. Do you want that boy to die? If he dies, what will you benefit from his death? Maybe. Maybe to save me some money. Where were his parents when he fell sick? Why didn't they bring out money to treat him? I came into this world to become a charitable organization. What do you want? You slapped a kutosi. Because he put food in a breakable plate for Sunday. Why did you have to do that? Why? You can open your mouth and talk. You can open your mouth and talk! Why would you? When you have already started sleeping with her. Me! Sleeping with my housemate! <laughs> Time. I kiss me, I touch my housemate. Idiot. I expect better behavior from a woman I call my own wife. For somebody I have lived with for over 20 years, to get up in the morning, look me in the eye, and accuse me of sleeping with my own house girl. And you think by sitting down there and opening your eyes wide, we change anything? Are you not sleeping? Ah! With Shut up, Antonia. Will you take that thing you call your mouth and sit on it? Oh, yeah, Allah. Mm. <clears throat> Mama. I have brought her back so she can stay here and learn some respect. While I go back and keep sleeping with my house girl. Hey, hey! Let me tell you, I am smarter than that. Huh? I wonder what that witch has given to you. Because if you think that this is a very, very good way for you to push me out of the house, you are making a serious mistake. Me. Oh, I am going to fight you with everything in me, from head to toe. Sit down! Sit down! Sit down. Sit down. Okay. What is... What, 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 oh, what is wrong with you? You have a very nice husband. Yes. If I were he, I would have skinned you alive long ago. Uncle! If you talk to me, I break your head with this yes. uh, st stick. Do you think I'm Davidson? Huh? If you forgot to learn something from your mother, you shouldn't have forgotten to learn how to talk. It is this year talk that will lead you to a ruin. Our in-law. What do I say? Our elders say that when you beat a child with one hand, you draw him close with the other and comfort him. If we consider all that come out from the mouth of women, you know that none of them will be alive today. Eh? Uh, please, 
I plead for forgiveness on her behalf. Please, forgive her and forgive us, please. Please, I beg you. My son, please, I beg of you. Please. Mama, please stand up and sit down. I have nothing against you. It's your daughter, Tonya, who has been annoying me, not you. I will still beg you. If the mother hen withdraws its wings, mm. who will protect its chicks from the hawk? You are a hen. Please. 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 My Lord, please. Forgive and forget. Tell me what is it? Tell me what is it? Tell me what is it? Did anybody die? Did anybody die? wrong with your friend? Hey. I don't know, sir. I've been asking him. He had refused to talk to me. Hey! Uh, 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 uh. Sunday, what is wrong? What happened? Hey! Sunday, talk now. Sunday, what is wrong? Listen, if you don't tell me what is wrong, I'm going to smash your head. What is the problem? Oh, oh God, huh? I don't know what we are going to do. <laughs> what we are going to do about what? About what? Hey! About hey! What? Look at the cement. Oh. Which cement? Which cement? Hey. Humphrey! Has your friend gone mad? <laughs> Somebody talk now. Oh God. The shipping agents just came. They said they got a report that the ship just sank. The ship just sank. <laughs> Which ship? Hey. Eh? Which ship? But the ship will respect me. It won't carry it all I want to see, man. That's What? Yeah, bro. I'm going to have one. I'm going to have one. Hey, Chilek. Yes, Sunday, sit down. Sunday, my son. Sir. I want to thank you for all the service you've rendered me all these years. You served me very faithfully, and God will reward you. I know that the treatment you received in this house is certainly not the best at what you deserve, but we are all imperfect. I hope you forgive all of us for that. I had 
promised you that at the end of your stay with me, I'll settle you handsomely so that you can start your business. But the way things are, I can't do that anymore. Only God knows why he allowed the things that happened to us to happen. Uh, what I'm trying to say is that given the present situation, you have to go back to your parents. Uncle, I understand everything that has happened. Please. Just let me stay. Let me build up with you again. Stand up, son. Hello. I know the way you feel, and I appreciate your concern for me. But you see, sometimes a man has got to brace up to stack realities and take some very hard decisions. This is a very trying moment for me. I had promised you a lot, but unfortunately, in my present situation, I, I can't fulfill all that. In whatever you do, my son, don't ever turn your back on God. With God, all things are possible. Sometimes, He drags us into deep waters, not to drown us, but to cleanse us. He has promised us in Matthew chapter 7, verse 7, that if we seek, we shall find. If we ask, we shall receive. If we knock, shall be opened unto us. All this. Pray to God at all times. I will provide a solution to all your problems. You have served me diligently. You served me with all your heart. I am imploring the good Lord to also give you the wherewithal to help you find and fulfill your destiny. Hmm? Shall be well with you always, my son. God bless you. Uh, go and pack your things. Hmm? We shall be leaving early tomorrow. Daddy said you were leaving. Yes. Come and visit us on time. Yes. <laughs> it's I'll be. 
miss you. <laughs> I don't know yet, but I think I'll go down to the city. I have a little money left for me, which I think will be enough to start me off with whatever I want to do, no matter how little. You know best, but don't you think what your guy has done is just to push you off? Is that not an excuse not to settle you? Oh boy, you don't know my yoga. If you know him very well, you will not say this thing that he just said. Look, this is a man that brought out his own money. 200,000 naira for my surgery. Look, if I make the kind of money I'm expecting to make, eh? I'll look for a way to pay that man back. I mean it. Sunday. Sunday. When do you intend to make that kind of money? Do, do you think money grow, grow, grows on trees? Money might not grow on trees, but you just watch and see. Huh? Okay, I'm waiting. Let's go. Ah, I'm ready. How do we do? Hey, bros, I know this one. How are you talking like this? Yeah, this one, okay, I have a common ten dollars. Hundred, hundred. The food drink and shop. See, this one, ah, this one, this one, that one now. See this one. Si ne quieres allá, ya no. Chori, ¿cuál? ¿Cómo que no? 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 ¿Cómo que no?
Sorry, you I learned about your gas misfortune. Hmm? On your own. You didn't really pain me. Mm. But was that why you left him? Not quite. Do you know I wanted to stay? Uh -huh. But the man said I should leave for good. And so? I had to leave for the village. After some time, with the little money I saved, I had to come back to the town again. I started this uh, hawking business. Huh? What about you now? What do you, what are you doing? What, what do you do now? Nah, eh, huh? I, wish, I wish I were you. I was not that lucky. Uh, uh, Sunday. Do you know my old guy refused to settle me after seven years of service? Hey! Can't believe it. He ended up accusing me of embezzling his money and threw me out of his house, penniless. Oh. I went back to the street, roaming around, doing one mania job or the other, uh, trying to survive. Uh, well, Sunday. The world is cruel. Don't be say you talk. I know. Try. This world. But anyhow, Sha. We will survive. We will survive. I say we will survive. <laughs> Sunday, we will survive. Or you say about change, oh. Wait a I said you drag five naira with, with pure water bottle. Like I say, don't see that thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will take you now. I will take you. Anyhow, I, I once in a while they come around here. Oh, they come around this park. Eh? Yeah. I just want to go see my friend here. We'll go see. Yeah. My area is this. Yeah. Hello. No, no problem. We'll go see. Hey. Sunday. I'll go see my market. Yo. We'll go see now. <laughs> okay. Hello. Oh. So well. <clears throat> Bells. Italian bell. Sunday. Good evening, sir. How are you? Fine, sir. I can see. Yes. Um, I thought you have an understanding that you should come and see me. Uh, yes, sir. So what is happening? Anyway, try to see me tomorrow evening. Oh, tomorrow evening? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come to the house. Eh? Okay, sir. I'll How wait. is your guy? He's fine. Don't forget, eh? I will. I'll be expecting you. Okay, sir. Good. I'll come. Bye bye. I see the things you Hold on to your dreams. Hold on, no, let's go. No matter how hard it seems, but times will surely come. So God will make a way. Your sun is going to shine one day. One day your sun will shine. Hold 
Here is your drink, sir. Thank you very much. You're welcome. That's my daughter. Do you like her? Anyway, she's part of the reason why I asked you to come. I don't understand, sir. But you remember the other day I asked you about your girl? Yes, sir. I know he has fallen on bad times and things are no longer easy for him as it used to be. But you have a specialized talent which should not be allowed to be wasted. I want you to make a choice of what you want to be in life and I will sponsor you. Thank you, sir. But I don't know what to say. <laughs> uh, thank you will be enough. But there is a snack somewhere. A snack. You will marry my daughter, I call her. Yes. She's a beautiful young girl. And she's getting the best of education anybody can get. You see, since I separated from her mother, my wife, I have been trying everything humanly possible to secure her future. Well, make a choice. Make a choice of what you want to be in life. Uh, sir. I really, I really want to travel out and go to school. Good. Good. If that is what you want, that is exactly what you will get. Take your drink. Take your drink. Thank you, sir. Take your drink, feel free. Thank you, sir. <laughs> My son says you'll be leaving early tomorrow. Uh, may God bless you and your father for all he's going to do. May he bless you too. Thank you. Yes, son. Uh, you'll be leaving tomorrow morning. Yes, very early tomorrow morning. How are you going? Um, I'll be flying to Port Harcourt Airport while I come out fly back to the US. Americana. Hey! <laughs> Don't get lost there! <laughs> and write us, hey, uh, and make sure write us as soon as you get there. And wahala, you know I'll write. Yeah, yeah, I trust you, I trust you. <laughs> yeah, I believe it. Ah, so soon. Yeah. So, I won't be able to come here tomorrow morning. So, save that. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, my dear. Uh, good night. Uh -huh, good, good night. 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 You don't have to go. I know that times are hard for us, but the future was a lot of promise. It has not always been like this. You know that. When will you wake up from your dream? Two years, David. Two good years. And we have been living from hand to mouth. Mm -mm. My patience has run out. I must leave. Tony, listen to me. There are challenges in everybody's life. Ups and downs. Tough times don't last. Tough people do. You don't have to listen. You and Adana are all I have. I know that we must survive. You don't have to go anywhere. Why don't you just wait and see? I can no longer live under this deplorable condition. We no longer feed well. This house is a mortgage. The whole building now stinks. I wouldn't want to be further infested with this poverty bug. Let me tell you something. God never abandons his people. <laughs> That's 
a poor man's prayer, David. <laughs> Tonya, what are you going to? I am going to my room. By tomorrow morning, I'll be gone. Goodbye. <laughs> Tonya! You don't mean you are going. Sleep well. Right. Well, you know I have to thank you for everything that has happened to me. No, there's nothing to thank me. I've only fulfilled my own side of the package. It's not for you to fulfill yours. <laughs> Look at him, is it not so bad, man? Oh, well, sir, I have every intention of fulfilling my own part of the bargain. But as you can see, I just came back and uh, I have some things to settle on first. No, 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 no. Take your time, take your time. Eh? Take your time. So what do you intend to do? Uh, well, uh, for now, you know, I sent in some things through the flight lines and uh, I just have to go and clear them and probably go down to the village to see my parents. Splendid! Splendid, you see? Okay. Life is too short for one to start um, uh, postponing what you want to do. Uh, Whatever you want to do, do it first! I know! You know, before it's too late! I know! I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, everybody! I have all the time in the world. Cheers! <laughs> Cheers! 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 Cheers. <laughs> Mm. Good morning, sir. Yeah, good morning. Please, I'm looking for one Chief uh, Davidson. Chief Davidson? Yeah. But there's no Chief Davidson that stays in this estate. Who stays in Block 20? Block 20? He's a large man with Habib, the tall yellow full animal. But that used to be Chief Davis's house. One fat evil man like that. He used to sell cement. Oh, that man, he moved out of this estate a very long time ago. Please, do you know where he moved to? No. But. I normally see his daughter in that supermarket along this road. Okay, that supermarket along this road? Yes. Okay, thank you very much. Yes, yes, yes. What? Beautiful. Ah, Sonny. It's not fair now. You forgot us all this while. No, no, no. It's not that. And, uh, you know, I just need to put my life back together, you know. I heard you traveled. Oh, yes. Actually, I just came back. And I missed you so much. You know, all through my stay overseas, I, I long for the day I'll come back and see you again. Are you serious? Very serious. You know, there's no day in my life that I don't pray to God, you know, that you should spare our lives so that I'll come back and meet you again. Sonny, you look good. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. You know, I went to your house and I was told you had moved out. What happened? And I missed you. Any problem, Ada? Am I trespassing? Ada, if I am, please, please tell me. And I'll, 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 I'll stay away from you. But you need to break my heart. Ada, please tell me there's nobody. What happened? It's a long story. Back now, okay? Everything is going to be okay. Huh? Stop crying. So, how is Popsy? How's he doing? He has relocated to Enugu. Enugu. 
Look, I, I, I need to see him. I, I really need to see him. Then you have to travel down to anywhere. Will you accompany me? This is the place. Things will be all right. Hmm? Come. Sunday. Sir. Sunday? Sir. <laughs> when did you come? I just got in, sir. Mm -hmm. Please sit down. Thank you very much, sir. Ah. Mm. I don't know how is Lagos. Lagos is fine, Daddy. Good. How is America? <laughs> America is fine, too. What about your parents? They are fine, sir. Life has been good to you. So big now. We thank God. Well, this is what uh, life has reduced us to. Well, Uncle, remember you told me some time ago that um, everything happens for a purpose. This season came and it's about to go. Uncle, you saved my life. Even when you did not have, I believe God has a purpose for all that. Um, before I forget, where is Auntie? Our people say that um, it never rains but pours. Hmm? About your Auntie, we'll leave the story for some other time. She ran away when daddy's business arrived. Uncle, things will work out in the end. They always do. Mm. I told you, my son, that nothing happens by accident. There's always a reason for every season. Um, uh, um, oh, sorry, I didn't offer you this. Ah, no, thank you. Yeah, I don't know. Thank you, Daddy. Um, Uncle, I want to ask you for a favor. Go on. Um, I want to ask for your permission to marry Adana. This request has not come to me as a surprise. I've always known that both of you are very fond of each other from the moment you came to stay with us. Uh, have you asked Adana? Um, yes, sir. Yes. <laughs> She'll make you a very good wife, you know. I know that. But Daddy, we cannot get married without informing mommy. Um, in fact, Uncle, please, we would want you to bring Auntie back. She deserted you, no doubt, but I believe she will come back if she realizes you genuinely want her back. My son, I've heard you. It will be a very, very difficult decision for me to make. 
very difficult. <laughs> Mama. <laughs> uh, well, my son, that was good talk. Hmm? I'm happy that my son has grown enough to talk about building a house. I thank God that the family is now coming up. <laughs> yeah? We thank God. I thank God too. But what concerns me most is this girl you want to marry. You said that Chief Maxwell sent you to America on the condition that you will marry his daughter. Was that not what you told us? I know, Mama. But that should not bother you. Hmm? Chief Maxwell is intelligent enough not to force a comma on me. Mama, I like a comma, but I don't love her. So I can't marry her. My heart is somewhere else. <laughs> My heart is. But Sunday. This is the man that sent you to America. He helped you. If it wasn't for him, you wouldn't have become somebody today. And if it was not for Chip Davidson, I wouldn't have been alive today. He gave me a beginning. He paid for my hospital bills, even when he had nothing. And he's not even asking for anything. You know best. Do what you think is right. Mama, what I'm doing is right. That bastard. After I spent a fortune on him, this is how he wants to pay me back. No. He says he does not want to marry you. Yes, Daddy. Who does he want to marry? Daughter. Ha! Ha! I should have known better. I should have known that that boy was a rogue, a common thief. Look at it. He think he can eat on my table and at the same time slap me on my face? Let me see him enjoy that marriage. Let me see him enjoy that marriage. You know what you Davison when the bastard was grabbing the seat, pushing barrels after I have rescued him from poverty? This is why he wants to pay me back by betraying me? Betrayal? No. Ah. Uncle, this car packed here is yours. This is the key. Wait. This guy is, is mine. Yes. This guy is mine. Um, and um, Uncle, I have also acquired a new house for you. It has been paid for for the next five years. Eh? So you don't have to bother about paying rent. The new house? Yeah. Um, these are the keys. And uh, <clears throat> myself. How can I thank you for all this? Eh? <laughs> May God bless you always. Eh? Whatever you do, wherever you go, 
God will always bless and guide you. Huh? Thank you very much, my son. Thank you very much. And uh, Uncle Um Please, I want you to manage this for me. It is a very small sum, but I hope it's going to help you to start off again. Please manage this for me. Thank you. Three point five million. Hey! <laughs> It is now time for you to show us the man you have chosen to be your husband. Hmm? I have seen a lot of drinks in front of me. If you ask us to drink it, we shall drink. If you say don't drink, we shall not touch it. Hmm? <laughs>
boy! Oh, no, whoa! Ah, ah. What did you do that for? You almost ruined this operation. You know you shouldn't have shot that man. But that's the boss's order. That man is innocent. That wasn't the game plan, and you know it! That man is innocent! How do you mean? Do you know him? Of course I do. Listen, we, we need to talk. We really need to talk. Here is your 250,000. That bastard. In his next world, he will learn to have good sense of reasoning. When is his burial? Whose burial? The bridegroom Sunday. There will be no burial. The man you sent us to kill is a liar. How? How dare you send us to kill an innocent man? Will you shut up, you bastard? Who told you he's innocent? For your information. The man you sent us to kill happened to be my best friend. So what? No, please. Please, 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 please. My best friend! You bastard! No, Hanty. Thank you very much. Uh, Tonya, what took you so long? I had to wait for Adana to dress up so that both of us can come together. I see. Yeah. Thank you very much for being so supportive. Thank you, Sunday, for your forgiving heart. You and Adana made it possible for my husband to accept me back. Oh, come on, Tonya, not again. It's all history now. I know that. I thank God that once more we're a happy family. Ada? Ada, what is it? My son, don't worry. That's early sign of pregnancy. And I'm sure it's going to be a baby boy. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see that day. At least, 
my condition will never be as critical as it was when I was admitted here for stomach calls. <laughs> uh, it won't be. Uh, <laughs> it won't be. But um, if it's a baby boy, what name shall we call him? Yes. What name are we going to give your son? Um, Mama, what is today? Today. Today. Ah, today is Sunday. Okay. Smart boy. <laughs> That's it, Sunday. <laughs> I see the things you're passing through. I know the pain that you feel inside you. You're looking for an answer, but there is none. But God is there beside you. And he will surely guide you Hold on Hold on to your dreams